Hello, friends. Welcome back to Space Engineers. With your host, Ronald the Bald. So we are on a quest. <laughs> We're on a big quest to find ourselves some silver. Um, not did not find anything nearby. So home is back there. And we're heading for, well, we're going to be heading for that hunk of, hunk of love. Ooh. Or perhaps this hunk of love, which might be closer. Let's go ahead and throw on the old inertia dampeners. And then re-target that location. Yeah, until we have silver, we're kind of stuck. Um... I would have to start ripping apart this ship in order to find some of the components, and then we'd be caught in one of those situations where you've got the... You don't have the pieces to make the pieces that you need to make the piece. The bootstrapping, you know, that kind of fun. So my goal is to find some silver fairly, fairly quickly. All right, so hopefully... This lumpy, beautiful object will have some. It's got some iron, definitely. So we'll hop out. Our slightly deconstructed ship. Just slightly, though. All right. The tool of finding. Please let there be some silver. Just a little bit. Ice. Nice big chunk of ice. And that is the one thing about this game. Is you always find a better place to live. But we're going to just have to live with what we've got. Silicon. It's close. It shares letters, at least in English, but not in Latin. Iron. This could be a scary, scary time for the space rongo. That's all your goodness. Are you platinum? Nope, you're all silicon. And I wouldn't mind picking up some silicon too. <gasps> What's that? What's that? Shiny and different magnesium? Cobalt? <gasps> no! Silver! Yay! Yay! All right, let's do this carefully and cautiously here. Now, it does go quite a long way. But I still want every little bit I can get. Don't you go going off on me. Start going sideways. And I wish it was easier just to auto. I mean, I hold the I, you hold the key, the T key down to pick up stuff as you're mining, but it doesn't really always work. And you guys have a better way of. I mean, other than having a ship parked nearby with a gravity field, if you got a better way of doing it. Let me know. Um, so I usually just come in, burn a little pocket, and then I just start mining and then pick it all up. Go away. Yeah, this should get us a good lead start. A 
bunch of stone coming out as well. There's some stone coming out as well. Inventory. Excellent! We have a crap ton of that already. And I can't remember where I parked. But let's go ahead and add ourselves a little... Wow, look at this. That's actually a pretty good sized chunk. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a GPS coordinate for this. Current position. Asteroid. Silver and silicon and iron so far. Probably so much other goodness. Full. All right, all right. You're full, full, full. Now I'm just gonna figure out where I parked. I really want to have an antenna soon. Stick an antenna on your ship, then you can always know where you parked. I'm betting we're on that side because that's. There we go. Yeah, this is a pretty good sized asteroid. Yay! Right in the refinery. Got that gravel as well. Ant. Now it's kind of like all the games. When you first start off, you're just barely making ends meet, and then finally. Finally, you'll get yourself going line up on a home, bring it up to speed. Now, I could swap it. I might, I probably will swap in a new skybox, which is the background that you can see. Um, and I'll probably get one as well that'll allow me to have higher max speeds. Um, the physics engine is geared. Oops, I did not hit, did not hit Z on time. Uh, the physics engine's geared for 104 meters per second, but you can go much faster, like four or 500 meters per second. Things go start going a little odd, though, um, so you do want to be careful with that. So we'll go ahead and coast our way back home. You always want to do that. You want to get the speed and then turn off. Ooh, a mining carriage. Oh, I really wish I could raid those things, but I cannot do so as of yet. Um... Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so anyway, get speed, turn off your uh, inertial dampeners, and then coast. Uh, keeps your fuel consumption down, otherwise you have to keep accelerating constantly. Um, and it extends your fuel. Like right now I've got two days of everything. Even with the, right, cause right now the refinery is running. So even with the refinery running, it'll run for two days, which is pretty good. And by that point, we'll have a lot more technology. We'll have bootstrapped ourselves up quite a bit farther. Now, I am really looking forward to planets. I'm, I'm really interested in seeing just how they're going to implement all that. Now, they're talking big planets. I've seen some... Um, you can actually get the source code now and compile it and actually run it yourself. Um, and some people were saying that it's like you see the planet and then it still takes you like 10, 15, 20 minutes to get close to the planet. It's that large. So it's going to be really kind of fascinating. Get back in our little hidey hole before we have any incoming asteroids. Oh yeah, I did build the uh, do, <laughs> built a new gyroscope so that I could actually go out. Because once I figured out I didn't have anything nearby, I was like, oh, we're going to have to go out. So this time I'm going to bring down, now that I can move. All right. I'm going to come right down. Whoops, see, I crashed. Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. So now we can use our gravity field to help do a little bit more mining. So, let's do that. And let's take our gravity field and we can go ahead and 
extend it a little bit, so field width, field height. So right now, we've got two days of use at this rate, so we're in, we're in good shape. Okay, so what did we need? We needed uh, silver so that we could make some reactor components. Reactor components, thruster, motors. You need more of these while I'm thinking about it. I don't need. I don't need a hundred. Yeah, I don't need a hundred. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's get a batch of those and let's do a batch of gravity. Components as well because we need to grab each other components. So we need a gravity generator on the station as well. And let's see what else we're gonna need right now. We need we probably need a batch of those, a batch of those, a batch of those, and more steel plate. We always need steel plate. It's like the number one, uh, number one thing you'll always be using. All right. Missing items, and what are we? Let's put it aside for right now. I think it needs more silver. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we need to complete our reactor. So the 100, re 100 reactor components, okay. Now I could take the reactor part of the ship and move it over, but it, I, I'd rather have a second working reactor just as you know, emergency emergency supply. We'll grab, while I'm thinking about it, grab some uranium so we can power the station up. Oops, not that much uranium. Uh, what is it? Nuclear reactor, okay. There we go. Alright, give it just a little bit. Actually, let's give it a little bit more. I couldn't put it through because basically the conveyors weren't powered, so it couldn't take stuff from one thing to another thing without the conveyors running. And it couldn't power it up because it didn't have power in the reactor. So it's all kind of a cosmic Okay, and six freaking motors. Do I have any motors right here? I have one motor right there. Ah, let's sigh. Alright, six. 
I'd like to get oxygen going inside the base. Hopefully. Very soon. We have power. We have power to the oxygen tank. We have power to the gorgeous oxygen generator. So let's go in here now and we're going to grab... I cannot remember. Let's leave that much in there. Now this should immediately start processing and the world should be a happier place. So uh, the next stage is to start working the frame up a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause for a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, harden up all the frames, harden up the frames. Really? That's your way you went. I'm going to weld the frames up and I'll be right back. All right, I've gotten the shell set up. Now, there are a few things I haven't finished welding off yet, you can tell. And that is because I need to actually take some of these out. I'm gonna need to have, actually these ones are okay. I'm in a gravity field, so I can have, I can have gravity. These don't matter because there's a hard edge inside, but I'll get these fixed up later on, just, just for principle's sake. Now, what I need to do is I need to pipe over air to the inside, and then later I'll pipe uh, probably underneath. I'll pipe in a conveyor for the storage container so I have access internally as well. But for right now, what I want to do is, yeah, conveyor probably will work. Well, I know a conveyor will work. So conveyor, cargo blocks. So I'm going to need an angly bit and a straight bit. So we're going to put that up like that. That ah, wrong. The nice thing about this game is you always get all your resources back when you dismantle things, so that is super sweet. So basically I'm piping oxygen down. I have to do it from inside. Yeah, we have to do it from inside. Okay, so what do I need? I need bulletproof glass and motors. Oh. Small field tubes. Construction components and small steel tubes. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to production, small steel tubes, construction components. And bulletproof glass. Probably a lot gonna make a lot of conveyors, so I might as well go ahead and just crank it up now. Uh, I've got the materials, so which is really kind of nice. We're starting off in relatively good shape. I've done a couple of mine runs, mining pickups. Let's see. Need small steel tubes. Some displays. Or oh, another one. They seem to be fairly frequent. I'm waiting for them to hit like right there because they're trying to they're, they're trying to come for me. Okay, so you're good. More construction components. Yeah, they're hitting like right there. Uh, 
Alright, so more construction components. And I said bulletproof glass, right? So what's its hold up? Oh, it's behind all of that. Alright, it's in red because it's got to pull the needed materials over from the refinery so it doesn't have it in its queue. That's why it's showing up as red, even though I know we've got... I know we have enough of that. There's our bulk of glass. I'm going to grab most of those. Now, I've only built this a couple of times, and it's been a few months since I last did the oxygen setup. So I'm probably going to screw this up pretty badly the first time. So no laughing, no mocking. Thou shalt not mock. Okay, so you are set. And now we're going to need another... I need you guys. Yep. So you're set. Now, I think I can go... Let's take a look here. I, 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 I'm kind of sure... Small ship conveyor block. All right, let's look through here. Just bear with me as I, as I smart up. Jump drive. I'm really looking forward to trying to jump drive out. That's another new cool thing that I have not had a chance to play with. Air vent. I'm gonna need an air vent. Actually, let's put that. Yeah, let's put the air stuff over here. So an air vent. I think I'm going to need another container. Or actually, I need a conveyor. That's what I need. A conveyor, yep. So I think I need to put the three, like right there, and let's rotate it because words. I think that that will do it. And then here I need a vent that needs to be, I think like that. Nope, nope, it needs to be the other way around because I need to be able to attach it. Or let's get that out of there. Alright, so it's on three, two, one. Blast off. Oxygen pressurizer. Let's try that. It's a metal grid. Five metal grids. Oh, I also need all this construction components and metal grid. Alright, let's grab this. Ton. We need, we need a crap ton. Let's do another. Let's do 500 for 10 of those. Oops, I forgot to pick up the rest of the grids that I needed and the components that I'm gonna need. Okay, so that one's done. off the top access 
And then we should be able to pipe these two together. And I think that will... Okay, that gets air out of that room, but we also need to be able to get air into this main room. So I think that we're going to need another guy like that right on the end. And we're going to need more construction components and steel plates. So a bunch more steel plates. We're almost there, folks. I think we're almost there. And set construction plants, right? Come on, let me be correct. Let me be right. Let me make this in the first try. I'll feel like a rock side if I do. Okay, so I should be able to. That's pressurized. We're pressurized in here. We're pressurized. We have oxygen. So, now, what we need, the clumpiness is kind of weird. <laughs> oh, we need energy is what we need before we do anything else. And I just wasted a bunch of freaking air. Okay, we'll, we'll get this dialed in. So we need, um, oh, I can't do that yet. Okay. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. And go. Okay. So we need a control panel. Cockpit blocks. No. It's not under power block, is it? No. Windows, no, 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 no. Must be under just large blocks. Okay. So I need a little control panel. I can't recall what it looks like offhand. Button panel. That's what it looks like offhand. And this will let us control it all. And hopefully. See? Ugh! Oxygen blew us out. Oh! You know, fall to your death. I have fallen to my death in the gravity field too often. Okay, so now we're repressurizing here. We just lost oxygen too. That was really annoying. Come on. There we go. Let's put it there. That's good enough. I have all the parts. Yay! Okay, so this button will close that door. So we're gonna do. Oh, what we need to do here really quickly. We we'll go in and we're gonna name this block exterior door. I just want to do this so that you know what your things are. And this is interior door, and this block is gonna be called air vent. Now we'll call this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, place in between with the air, the thingy, air thingy, uh, airlock vent. And then that vent then is the main room vent. So now we got all that stuff labeled so we know what's what when we go to control it. Go in here and we're going to have exterior door and we'll have it. Uh, toggle open closed and then we're going to have a airlock vent depressurize 
uh, off. And then we'll have another one depressurize on. And then we'll have an interior door open close. Okay, so if I hit this, it should depressurize. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so this one takes the air, it depressurizes, this one repressurizes. So right now I can open the outside door, no air gets lost. Yay, this one will give me back air, and then this one will let me go inside to my beautifully pressurized room. Yay, yay, yay. All right. Let ran just a little longer, but we got our oxygen system going, so I'm really happy about that. So let's close this door. Let's depressurize. Let's open the exterior door. And later on, we'll have more stuff wired. We'll have some uh, maybe a, a monitor out here that tells us if it's got pressure or not. And we'll maybe we'll set up sensors that'll detect that automatically. And we'll do a bunch of more stuff. Uh, but right now, we just have ourselves a little place where we can get in here, take our helmet off, and have a, a, a lovely day without dying. So anyway, for now, this has been Wrong with the Bold. Hope you guys are enjoying my adventures in space. Ah, yes. So I will see you all later. Bye.